Hi everyone, this is Evie, also known as Eve Nut 6 For those of you that are subscribed to me, I am doing um, my week 7 uh, post lap band surgery update. Um, I went for a fill last week as my previous video, and that was, I didn't update anyone else on that besides that video. So I got my fill on, the, I want to say Tuesday, the 12th. And I felt fine the first day. I didn't eat um, at all. I was on liquid diet for 24 hours, and then I would move on to soft foods, like um, mash, soups, stuff like that, protein shakes, of course. So I did the liquids for the first 24 hours, which was very easy to do because I was so exhausted that I pretty much just went to bed. As soon as I got home, I had half a protein shake, and I was you know satisfied and then when I woke up I had the other half of the protein shake and then a couple hours later I had another half of a protein shake so I was up to like 3 or 4 in the morning that day and I didn't have much fluid except for the protein shakes and water so the second day the next day I start eating soups I noticed that my appetite is increasing um, I probably wasn't feeling good from the day before I was just exhausted so I had soups, and um, I had mashed potato, and I tolerated everything very well. I can feel it, you know, going down a little slower, but I was still feeling hungry all of a sudden. I'm like, all right, well, whatever, give it some time. So the third day passes, same thing, nothing's changed. I still feel hungry after I eat. Um, I'm satisfied at first, and then 30 minutes later, I'm like starving. Again, it's it's the weirdest feeling in the world. It's like you get the hunger pains, your stomach starts talking to you, and it's kind of just embarrassing and just weird. Not so much embarrassing because I could just be like, oh, it's my stomach. It doesn't bother me, but it, it, it tends to, it gets on your nerve when you're trying to accomplish something like work. <laughs> so while your stomach's talking back to you and you're trying to do some work, it's very distracting. So anyway, um, day four, and from now, it's the same thing. I am back on solids. I ate salads, I ate, uh, I've eaten some starches like uh, rice, but small servings, I've eaten chicken, um, I do notice, sorry, I do notice that my food does get stuck a lot more if I eat quicker, so that I notice, um, as far as a change goes, but the hunger is still there, I feel like I can eat a normal size plate of food, not a normal size plate of food, like, but, you know, a normal size plate of food. So I guess I'm not impressed with this fill. Let's just put it like that. And I was really hoping that I'd be all set, at least for now. I, I didn't expect me to be like a one fill, that's all I need type of person, but I wanted to feel substantial changes. And I haven't felt anything besides stuck. <laughs> so like the food gets stuck and I think I had my first PB moment um, you guys out there can help me out I have no idea last night I got home from work actually this morning it was like 12 30 1 o'clock in the morning and my husband put dinner aside for me and it was chicken breast baked chicken breast and rice and some veg so I ate the vegetable <clears throat> I was eating the chicken, and I ate a little bit of rice, and as I was eating the chicken, I felt it just get stuck, and it wasn't like normally get stuck a little bit lower, it was stuck, like right here stuck, and I just started coughing and burping, and it just felt like it was going to come back up, but it didn't because I kept burping, it was just this weird for you guys that don't have the surgery, I know this is probably disgusting to some of you, but this is this is what your body does. There's no stopping it. It's not rude. It's just what it is. Um, so I do not know if that was a PB incident um, that most people talk about. I have had stuck moments, and it's usually just with tilapia. So for me to get it with uh, chicken, which I've, known, I've never had any problems with, that is me noticing that the band was filled. But as far as feeling full, that's it. So anyone want to message me about, you know, what their PB experience was, um, I'd be glad to hear it because we, I'm sure we all experience it differently. I just wanted to know if that was what it was or if not, then it just sucked because it got stuck and it was awful and it lasted a whole minute. Um, 
when I get food stuck, it doesn't last me long, maybe a minute, two minutes top. So I know people that have gotten incidents where they've gotten food stuck and they lasted for like an hour. And I just cannot imagine. And I hope to God that that doesn't happen to me. But anyway, um, I only had a, a pound loss this week. Which is fine. It's better than nothing. I'll take that. Um, I, again, last week I said I had a pound loss, even though I evened out pretty much. I lost the four pounds that I gained from the week before, plus lost a pound. So I lost a total of five pounds. We're not counting it. Well, I'm not counting it. I count it as one pound. So this week I've lost another pound, which is great, but I don't feel very good about being able to eat so much. I guess... I wanted instant gratification, and I think we all do, and I'm that quick, let's go, let's go kind of person, so yeah, I figured I was going to be in this predicament, and I am my own worst enemy because I would tell someone else, you know, the appropriate, you know, things that would happen, and you know, what to expect, and you know, it's okay, you're going to feel this, then the third, but then with me, I'm like, I, I get so frustrated, I'm like, frick, you know, like come on, give me something, but if next week I do not show signs of it improving, me being able to eat less, then I will go back to my doctor and try to get another fill, so I, of course, will update you guys on it, so um, that's pretty much it, that's all I have to say for now, I've just been trying to make better choices in food, and um, Yes, I'm eating less, and yes, you know, this is, I'm not gaining, woohoo, but I don't know, I guess, I guess I want more, gotta want more, right? So, that's pretty much it, I have been speaking with a couple of people that are either starting this journey, or a journey similar to, or have already gone through it and I feel like very I feel very privileged that they have reached out and just you know it's not easy to speak up on what you feel what you're going through your emotions especially when you're private so I feel very privileged and I thank you guys and you will know who you are cuz you know, it's kind of obvious if you speak to me then you know I, I do feel privileged. I thank you guys for reaching out to me, and I hope that I can be of any service or any help, and um, it's it's a strange process. I'm obviously going through it, and I'm having my little demons I'm dealing with, and it's, it's weird. I'm not used to this. I guess we want instant gratification knowing damn well we're not going to get it, and that's not realistic. Realistically, a pound a week is amazing. Um, some people plateau, which... I expect that to happen to me a lot, um, seeing as I've already been through a little bit of that. So anyway, I appreciate those that have, that have reached out, those that support me and others, and those that watch and subscribe to me. So it's not much of an update this week. Hopefully next week we will have a better update. Um, every Oh, before I leave you guys, every three days, I go on a two-day liquid type diet, um, I still keep the calorie intake, so, like, I'll do, like, two or three days of just regular eating, whatever, and then the next day, I'll substitute two of the meals with protein, shake, and kind of alternate like that to get my body used to being on liquids and then off liquid. you know, like, I don't know, I just... I feel like that's sometimes what I need because I feel crummy sometimes after like I eat a meal and even though it's a good meal and it's healthy, I just feel that sometimes just getting back on liquids will just give your esophagus and your throat and your whole stomach and insides and all that a rest. So I guess that's my way. I don't know. I'm just, I just do that. Um, I have no idea why I just started doing it and it's been like two weeks that I did that when I put myself on liquid diet. I did it for two days and then I ate for three, but I still substituted one meal with a shake. So now, um, since last week, I did the two days liquid or one day liquid, 24 hours liquid, and the next day soft, the next two days soft, and then I did liquids again and one meal. And then I did a couple days with the meal, and today I've done liquids. Yesterday I did liquids, 
and when I came home, I had a meal, I stayed up for a couple hours, whatever. So that's what I've been doing. I don't know if that's more confusing my body or what. Well, I'll discuss it with my nutritionist. I do have a support group meeting this Wednesday, and I will be seeing my friends there and other people that have been there, new faces, not so new faces. So I'm excited for that. So yeah, you guys feel free to message me, email me, contact me through Facebook. All my information has been posted in previous videos, and most of you already know how to reach me. Um, I thank you guys for watching. Have a great week. Bye.